Hey y'all, it's me and this human hair wig that I received from Bryn B. And if you're interested in knowing some information about this wig, how many inches is this wig? How much does this wig cost? Please stay tuned. All right, so this is the packaging that the wig came in from Amazon. So we're actually gonna do an unboxing together. Got my scissors right here. Here is the package that the wig came in. It says it's 100% Remy human hair. I don't know. I, I'm not a wig person, so I honestly couldn't tell you if it was real human hair or if it wasn't human hair. But this is a, a nice bag that it comes in and it actually gives you some instructions on how to care for the wig, which is really nice. It tells you how to wash it, pat dry, do not brush when it's wet. I do have a brush to style it, so I'm glad that I read that when it's wet, you don't brush it. And it says that you can use a flat iron, you can use a curling iron, you can apply it on a mannequin head to keep its shape. Brush out all tangles before you wash the wig. So yeah, nice, nice instructions. This is a very, very cute bag that it came in. And it's a resealable bag as well. You can seal it back up, but you need to cut it first with some scissors. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it first. Maybe you don't need to cut it. You know what? You don't need to cut it. All you have to do is just pull it apart. Very simple. Oh, look, it came with a wig cap. I already have a wig cap on. I have on a brown wig cap. This one is a tan wig cap. But that was nice that it came with a wig cap. And here's the wig. Fresh out the package. Okay. I've seen her here on YouTube. This wig is not this wig, so I don't understand why the cardstock is a wig that's not of this wig, and it's another YouTuber. I forget her name. <laughs> Go ahead and put her name on the screen if you are interested in looking at her videos because her videos are, are pretty good. Tasteful or something like that, Tasteful Pink, I think that's her name. She's really nice here on YouTube. You know I love supporting people that look like me. So all I did was cut this off. And what is this? This is more care instructions. So if you didn't read the care instructions that's on the bag, you can go ahead and read these care instructions that comes with the wig. But this picture is not the correct wig. This is what it's looking like. And let's look at, I see on YouTube, people talk about the construction of the wig and how many combs. So this is what the inside looks like. This is not lace or anything on this wig. No parts, nothing. And I don't even see any combs. Are there any combs in this? Hmm. There's, there's no combs. I, I think this is where the combs would be. There's no combs. But there is a strap right here. They have the strap in the back. That's interesting. I guess I just assumed that there was gonna be combs. Hmm. No combs. So we do have the adjustable straps and I'm gonna try to adjust them, make it kind of big because, I don't know, does anyone get headaches when they wear wigs? I know when I've worn wigs in the past, they would like squeeze my brain. <laughs> I'm like, I don't like that. So yeah, so I kind of put the adjustable straps on to make it big head friendly. I hear people using those terms here on YouTube. I don't know if I have a big head or not, but I know my hair is kind of puffy. I have my hair pulled in a ponytail, so kind of puffy back there. All right, let's put this wig on, let's see. Uh-oh, let's see. Uh-oh, oh, oh. that My mirror is over here, so if you see me looking that way, it's because I'm looking at the mirror. I 
I'm half it on right. Is it supposed to be that way? So clearly these bangs need to be clipped and it looks like you're supposed to use like a curling iron or something. I, I'm not a curling iron type person. I'm, I'm not one to curl hair. I want a wig that I can just put on and go. I'm not one for having to, you gotta pluck the edges and put makeup in the part and all that kind of stuff. I thought this was just gonna be a wig that I could just put on and go. You need to use a curling iron with it. And it's a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be short. That's not short to me. I don't even know if I have a curling iron to curl the bangs, to be honest with you. Once you cut the bangs, that's it. So that's why I'm kind of debating on should I cut the bangs or should I not cut the bangs? Should I just leave them like this? It's cute though. It's very, very soft. I'm not getting any shed hair pulled out. I like the color. This is natural black. I believe that's the color. So maybe like a 1B, maybe even a, a 2. No, I think this is more of a 1B. What y'all think? It's, it's a different look on me, that's for sure. I'm gonna color my grays. I'm gonna do henna this weekend. So don't mind the grays, please. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. I would rather do this or wear a wig like this than actually flat iron my hair. I did not like flat ironing my hair. It made my hair feel kind of like, I don't know, just thin. But this is a, a nice way of, of switching it up, you know? And um, I am taking steroids right now, so my face is kind of fat, but uh, I'm almost done with my steroids. I have one more day, and you know it's gonna take a while for those steroids to leave my system, but. My face is a little bit puffy because of the steroids, but soon it won't be puffy anymore. I kind of like it. I I know it does need to be curled. I know, like I see people, they use the iron to kind of flatten their hair and all those kind of things. <laughs> I'll be honest with y'all, I probably won't do all of that. The most I'll probably do is cut the bangs, but I kind of like it. Let me see, if I pull the wig back more, will that help? Yeah, I just pull the wig back. Then that way I don't have to cut the bangs. This isn't any worse than some of the wigs I see other people wearing. I see people wearing wigs and it's so obvious that they're wearing a wig. I feel like this isn't that obvious, unless you know me to know that this is a wig. <laughs> the the back feels kind of lumpy because I have a ponytail in the back. So I'm not sure if I should show that because I can feel the lump. So I wonder if you can see the lump. Here's the back. That's my ponytail right there. A little lumpy. Here is where the bra, God, that's a bra. <laughs> the wig is ending. And I think this is maybe 10 or 12 inches. I am very tall, so you know my neck is extremely long. So if you do decide to purchase this wig, just know that it may be 
a little bit longer on you. I thought it was gonna be a lot shorter on me. I'm wondering if people are cutting their wigs to make them a little bit shorter. But I think this is cute. You could put some gel on it. I'm not gonna do that. But I think if you put some gel on it, that'll be cute too. Yeah, I just love to wear my bangs to the side. That's just me. And I like this little flippy flippy over there. Little flippy flippy over here. And um, brush this down right there. I don't know. I think it's maybe it's supposed to go that way. This is the closure, I think that's what it's called. Closure. I'm not a, a wig ologist person, people. So if you are like me and you just want to put a wig on some days, this would work. I could go to work in this with no problem. No one would say anything to me about it because some of the wigs that some of my co-workers wear, oh Lord Jesus, you would be so surprised. This actually looks really good. And I know that a lot of women, they have these wigs and they say, oh, this looks so real and natural. No, I don't. I'm sorry. I can tell it's a wig. And when I saw you yesterday, your hair wasn't orange. So how can that be your hair? It doesn't look real. We know it's a wig and it's okay. Like it's, it's all right. Just like men wearing toupees. We know that's a toupee on your head. Like we can tell. So I'm not trying to wear my hair. Oh, look, oh, I'm you know, trying to fool people and make you think that this is my real hair when I know that it's not. But this is cute. I think I look nice. What do you think? Do I look professional? I think so. So of course, I just want to read to you what online says about this wig. This is the Bryn Bay 12 inch short bob wigs, human hair with bangs for black women, black straight bob cut Brazilian Remy Real hair replacement full wig. So the first thing that I would suggest is to change the name because white women can wear this and white men can wear this and black men can wear this wig too. So I would probably change the name. This is 12 inches, so I did not realize that this was 12 inches, but it is pretty long. So yeah, I would say this is 12 inches and it looks like it could be real hair. I, I don't know. It doesn't feel yakky or anything like that. It feels very, very straight and very soft. And here is a close up look on the hair, if that helps any. Online it says it's a high quality human hair wig. Fashion style is short bob hair for black women. Look more natural. I'm sorry, black women, we naturally don't have hair like this, but maybe when we got our hair flat ironed, maybe our hair looks like this, I don't know. But again, I would maybe take off the information online about black women, because again, other women can wear this as well. On the short bob human hair wigs is measured with 12 inches long, average cap size, it is essential for your daily go out. The short bob human hair wigs with hair bangs can be widely used for daily use, party, cosplay, Halloween, costumes, wedding. Um, you know, I guess, you know, someone didn't proofread this information that's online because there's a lot of typos, but it's cute. And I do appreciate Bryn Bay. I believe I'm saying that right. I will make sure to put the name here on screen and put the information down below if I am saying the name wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Bryn Bay. Like, or maybe it's Bryn B. I'm not sure. But this wig was $34.99. Again, they did send it to me. They reached out to me and I do appreciate that. So thank you so much, Bryn B for reaching out to me and asking me to review this wig. It is cute and I do plan on wearing it, but again, it does need a little bit of work and I am not one to do the work. I'm not one to 
use the flat iron and curl it and you know cut in the bangs you know I'm more put the wig on and go so if you are the type that wants a wig that you know you have to do a little bit of work flat iron it here so it could be flatter on your head maybe trim it here or curl it and of course you know do something with the bangs I like my bangs to the side but if you don't like your bangs to the side you could just go ahead and wear your bangs this way and if you want maybe curl the bangs so that they come you know under a little bit if that's how you wish to wear it thank you so much Bryn B for sending this wig and asking me to do this review and also thank you for the wig caps that's very very nice the wig is cute it's nice but you know I think you just might want to change some of the wording that you have online I just like to put on a wig and go but I really don't wear wigs to be honest with you I'm, I'm just not a wig person but the wigs that I have worn they were pretty much put them on minimal work that you needed to do to the wigs this does need just a little bit of work specifically something with the bangs maybe trim the bangs and again you're gonna need to flat iron this maybe flat iron this and um, maybe put some gel or something like that in the wig as well but it is cute and it's it's nice you know I am gonna wear it I'm gonna wear it in a couple of videos to see if people can kind of ask me hey where'd you get that wig from maybe they'll think it's my real hair I don't know I don't think they're gonna think it's my real hair because it doesn't look like real hair to me it doesn't look like human hair but hey I'm not a wigologist I'm not one who specializes in human hair so as always let's have a conversation down below what do you think about this wig do you think that this is a natural looking wig do you think that this is a wig that looks like maybe I just got my hair flat ironed do you think that this is a wig that people would think hey this is my real hair is this something that you would be interested in purchasing yourself off of Amazon also if you do look at the website what do you think about the wording like how does that make you feel that this wig is for black women almost as if no other women wear wigs like we're not the only ones that wear wigs any woman and any man could wear this wig let's have a conversation down below don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i will see you next time bye